Chapter 10, Lesson 4, Essential Question. How can you solve multi-step problems that include measurement conversions? This means you're going to be doing more than one equation to get to your actual answer. Unlock the problem. A leaky faucet in Jared's house drips two cups of water each day. After two weeks of dripping, the faucet is fixed. If it dripped the same amount each day, how many quarts of water dripped from Jared's leaky faucet in two weeks? So we're going to be using different steps to solve the multi-step problem. First, you need to squiggle underline what you're being asked to find, circle the important math numbers and terms, and then do a straight underline on the clue words that can help you with which operations we are going to be doing. You should have squiggle underlined how many quarts of water dripped from Jared's leaky faucet in two weeks. You should have circled two cups and then two weeks. And the clue words, um, well, we have cups as a measurement, and that's each day, and day is a measurement, and then two weeks, weeks, that is the measurement corresponding with day, so there's one conversion that we're going to have to make. And then also quarts, because that's the other change. We're going to need to change cups to quarts. So now, step one in our multi-step problem is to record the information that we've been given, and that's the numbers that we've circled. So the faucet drips how many cups of water each day? It drips two cups of water each day. Um, the next piece we were given is the faucet drips for how many weeks? Well, we know it drips for two weeks. The next step is to actually do one um, of our conversions. So find the total number of water dripped in two weeks. So how can we do that? Well, since we're given the amount of water each day, we now need to convert our weeks into days and then multiply. And the reason why we multiply is we're going from a larger unit of weeks into the smaller units of days. So remember, when you go from larger to smaller, you are multiplying. So how many cups each day did we have? We had two. And how many days are in two weeks? Well, we know that there are seven days in one week. And I can do seven times two in my head. So in two weeks, there are... 14 days. And so if I multiply the number of cups in two weeks, 2 times 14 equals 28 cups. So how many cups are dripped in two weeks? That is 28 cups. But we're not done yet because what measurement did they want our answer in? They didn't want the number of cups. They wanted the number of quarts, how many quarts were dripped. So that means that we have a second step, another conversion that we need to do. So the last step that we need to do is we need to convert our cups to quarts. So how many cups were in a quart? Well, we can think through that there are two cups in a pint. And from my story of the Land of Gallon, where we have our land of gallon with our queens, princes, princesses, and children. Because I'm a visual person, I wouldn't have to draw this out. I could just imagine. I know that there are two cups and a pint, two children to each prince or princess. Um, but that means that there are four cups in the whole court. So there are really two ways to walk through this. Um, let's do their way, the step-by-step, step, and then we can use the picture. So we're starting out with um, 28 cups. And remember, cups are smaller than pints, so now we're going from a small unit to a larger unit. And to do that, we need to divide. And how many cups are in a pint? There are two. So now we're going to go 28 divided by 2, so that gives us 14 pints. And then we're going to bring that 14 down here. They're, they're the same. 
and we're still converting. We're going from pints to quarts. And so how many pints are in one quart? There are two, so we need to divide by two because, again, we're going from a smaller to a larger. Um, so 14 divided by 2 equals 7. So we have a total of 7 quarts of water that dripped in two weeks. Now, if you're a visual person and you like to think, well, there, I could see right here that there are four cups in the Q in the quart. You could have done 28 divided by 4 and you still would have got your seven. So let's look right here at the what if. What if the faucet dripped for four weeks before it was fixed? How many quarts of water would have leaked? So how would you solve that? It's gonna be a multi-step problem again. You would follow the same steps, except for that right here when you're converting the cups um, with converting the days in weeks and getting your total number of cups, instead of two weeks right here, you would insert four weeks. So press pause and solve this for four weeks. So step by step, you would have had two cups times how many days are in four weeks? 28, that would equal 56 cups. And then you take 56 cups and breaking it down into the quarts dividing, I divided by four, um, and you would have ended up with the answer of 14 quarts. Also, if you were sneaky about it, you could have noticed that if there were seven quarts in two weeks, uh, two times two would give you four, so seven times two would give you 14. Example. A carton of large grade A eggs weighs about one and five tenths pounds or one and a half pounds. If a carton holds a dozen eggs, how many ounces does each egg weigh? So go ahead, press pause, squiggle underline what you're being asked to find, circle the important information, and straight underline clue words to help you with your operation. You should have squiggle underlined how many ounces does each egg weigh, um, circled one and a half pounds, and a dozen, because this is a hidden number, a dozen is the same as 12, and then underlined, straight underlined, the words pound and ounces, because that tells us we're going to be doing a conversion, and then each, um, because that helps that we're going to be dividing or multiplying, depending upon the way our conversion goes. So step one, in ounces, find the weight of a carton of eggs. So now we have to think how many ounces are in one pound. Well, remember the label for ounces is LB, and that looks like the, a number, it looks like 16, and there are 16 ounces in one pound. So now we need to multiply. What is the weight in pounds of the egg carton? It is one and a half. And so how many ounces are in a pound? There are 16. Multiply that out. You should have ended up with 24. So a carton of eggs weighs about 24 ounces. Step number two, because now that we have the ounces found, we need to, in ounces, find the weight of each egg. So remember, one carton, so a dozen, has how many eggs? Dozen was our hidden number, because a dozen is the same as 12. And so if we have 24 ounces, and then how many eggs in that carton? There were 12. So now, we need to divide it. That's where the word each came in, is because we're taking the total and we're dividing it between each egg. So 12, 24 divided by 12 equals two. Um, and so that gives us the weight of one egg in ounces. So each egg weighs about how many ounces? Each egg weighs about two ounces. In my personal experience with working with measurement conversions, 
Um, I generally try to choose the conversion that will give me the easiest numbers to work with first. So we ch change from pounds to ounces first because working with decimals are not always um, the nicest things. Like if we had tried to divide the one and a half pounds divided by the 12, I could have done it, but it would have been messy work. And so it was easier just to convert it into ounces first. So now you have your share and show. You have um, number one gives you some work throughs and some sentence fillers, sentence frames. Um, sentence two and three, you need to find what conversions you need to make and make sure you have the correct label on your answer. Press pause and work. For this one, we're converting um, yards into miles, but we also have to know how many yards each practice Scott ran. So we have the four sprints times 20 yards. How much does he run in practice? Um, he runs 80 yards. And if one mile is 1,760 yards, two miles is 3,520 miles. And then we have to divide the total amount that he has to run by what he runs each time. So 3,520 divided by 80 equals 44 practices. All right, number two. We're looking for how many boxes are needed to hold three tons of flour. Um, so we have three tons of flour, five pound bags, and then one box holding 12 bags of flour, which that's five pounds. So let's start with how many pounds each box can hold. So the way that I found that out is I have one box has 12 bags and each bag is five pounds, so 12 times five pounds equals 60 pounds for each box. Next, the total order is for three tons, which um, how we need to convert that to pounds. So that's 2,000 pounds is one ton, and so that is 6,000 pounds ordered. Each box can hold 60, so this one is a triple step where we're actually going to be taking our 6,000 total pounds and we are dividing it by how many each box can hold, which is 60 pounds. So 6,000 pounds divided by 60 pounds gives you your answer of 100 boxes will be needed. And in problems like this, it's important to circle your answers. Number three, you should have underlined how many drinks can Corey serve for parent night, circled five one gallons and eight fluid ounces, because that's the two different measurements we're gonna have to be changing to. And then I also underlined the gallon and the fluid ounces to make sure that I knew, knew that was my unit conversion. And I underlined the word drinks because they don't wanna know how many fluid ounces they want to know that if one drink is eight fluid ounces, how many of those are there? This is going to take a lot of conversions because we're going from basically the largest um, liquid capacity measurement to the smallest. Now, I don't know how many ounces is in a gallon off the top of my head, so I have some other conversions to do. I do know that one cup is eight fluid ounces. And from that point, you could decide whether you were going to um, go step by step or use a visual drawing to help you. I'm going to use my visual drawing. I'm going to count up that there are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 cups in one gallon. So I'm taking my 5 gallons, timesing them by the amount of cups in one gallon. 5 times 16 is 80 cups, which... Each cup is equal to eight fluid ounces, so how many drinks can he serve? He can serve 80 drinks.